What the hell kind of a failure is this? Good Lord. Howdy, partners. Welcome to another Q&A Friday. Today, we talk about Winnebago quality on the furniture build in particular, leakage from the waste tank when the storage camp is removed, camera equipment, I found the viewer, and the last question and a biggie, new rooftop air conditioner with Bluetooth control from my phone. Stay tuned. comes from viewer Brian Berry. Brian, thanks for sending in the, uh, the question, man. Really appreciate that. Uh, his question is, um, when you initially move the black tank valve cover, <laughs> how much leakage do you have prior to hooking up the sewer hose? Uh, Brian goes on, he has a, a 2019 K. When I first take the cap off, I get more than just a few drips. Just curious if I have an issue. Well, um, my tank is very closed. Uh, it is about two thirds full. I'm headed to an RV park tonight. I have no idea what's gonna happen except from experience. I know that it's probably just gonna have a few drips, but let's test the theory here in a park parking lot. Let's hope for no problems. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I got some uh, temporary protection here. I'm gonna take the cap off and let's just see what comes out. This is in real time. What do you guys think? I think it's about three tablespoons of liquid. So if you got more than just a little tiny bit, I think you got an issue. Great question, Brian, thanks for asking. So the next question comes from Leanna P. Uh, Leanna P, thank you for your question. And the reason I couldn't find your question about uh, what kind of camera gear do I use is because you've emailed me directly and if you'd like to do that you just go to my website and you can find my uh, email address there it's uh, um, go small live large at gmail.com and you can email me directly I kind of prefer to have the uh, open uh, co correspondence here in the YouTube channel but if you got something hey email me and be happy to answer your question uh, Leanne asks about uh, what kind of camera gear i did that video recently so check that out it was a great question uh, leanne just want to give you full credit for that question all right so the next question comes from viewer uh, matthew s matthew matthew says hey scott enjoy your videos now that you've had the van for 10 months or so how would you rate the build quality especially of the cabinetry i really like the features and floor plan of the 59g Toronto. Uh, but I'm concerned with the quality of a mass manufacturer like Winnebago. That is a great question. Let me address some of those things for you. All now. right, so Matt has some questions on Winnebago build quality, and in particular, the cabinetry. And I think the reason for that is there was some degree of doubt um, that was built up in my mind from a YouTube channel, um, Ultra Mobility. Uh, Neil Balthizer is the YouTuber there. He does a great job on reviewing vans of all manufacturers. Um, B and B plus um, and he kind of rails on about <clears throat> Winnebago in particular around a 12-month warranty which I think they've actually worked on to increase that lately maybe Neil had some impact on that so that's great and stapling stapling of wood so as I went through my Winnebago I was um, you know building buying reputation and assume presumed quality but know that these guys churn out a lot of vans compared to some, the other guys they got the biggest market share so going back to build quality what I've done is I've kind of I've taken some places, um, or opened up some cabinetry and stuff to show you guys and gals uh, the build quality that I have experienced, which is off the charts great. I have no squeaks, I have no rattles, I have had no serious issues with this rig, um, the chassis, or the Winnebago build out at all. I'm now we took delivery in in October 2018. This is mid August 2019. I now have nearly 25,000 miles on it. I am full-time since February 2019. So going potty, brushing my teeth, taking showers, cooking, 
um, the whole enchilada for months now. And again, no squeaks, no rattles, nothing falling out. But I want to show you um, what this looks like and give you some, some wraps <laughs> so you can hear and see what I'm talking about. So first Let's of all, you probably know that this is not real wood in the sense that it's, you know, hard pine wood or walnut or something like that. It's, it's actually a, a manufactured wood uh, made out of Italy, I'm told by Lixen RV, called Technoform. And it's really, really high-end uh, manufactured wood. Um, this is way more than a sticker. It is actually almost imprinted on the wood. I've actually made one boo-boo trying to get stickers off. Let me show you this. And you can see here, it's it's almost like paint. It's, it's way more than just a sticker. It's really, 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 really tough. Um, I did manage to get some off, but um, I was trying to peel off a label there. Um, but just take a look in here quick. And while there is some stapling, this stuff right here, uh, this thing does not squeak. All of the mechanisms here are screwed in. Chet's tight, posi lock here. Um, listen, as I wrap on some of this wood so you can hear how solid the stuff is. My point being is that this thing is really, really, really solid. Um, so I've taken the cover off of the jump seat. This is the Volta inverter um, system in here, but I want to show you this. So this is the thickness of the plywood. Guys, this is half, this is one inch plywood um, with a four mica type surface on both sides. You see that okay? Um, it is a metal bracket that forms this seat, plywood, heavily stapled ultra leather to the uh, to the back side and if we look in here again this is one inch plywood with the techno form on the inside you guys can see that i think let me come around here so you can just see this so you can see the thickness of the veneer compared to the actual plywood and while there are stapled elements, like right here, these are not your desktop staples. These things are massive. I'm guessing they're probably two inches bent, and that is probably, I don't even know, you guys in the building this know what gauge wire this is. But again, this is not insignificant stapling with a desktop staple. Look at the number of staples down here. And then, I don't know if, it's, if you can see this, There you can see the um, the water lines, a lot of electrical stuff in here, and then everything is screwed to structures. So in here, it's screwed these panels here together, um, screwed together, screwed together. This screwed together. You see that? Well, yes, there was some stapling done. It is largely um, screwed, really quality wood. Um, when we toured the Winnebago factory at the Grand National Rally, um, I got to see these 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 you know, structures being um, that were assembled that were ready for fitting, and I went and I and I and I, I physically shook them and kind of leaned on them, even though they kind of yelled at me, um, because I wanted to test the strength. Did the thing wobble? Was it weak? And I can tell you, it was solid, just like wood screwed together. I was very very impressed. Um, so build quality, again, my experience is I've had zero issues of anything cabinetry, no lighting. I mean, the this, this ceiling is just beautiful. The workmanship here is just beautiful. The quality of, of, the, of the buttoning here, quality of the bathroom, all of the fit and finish here. I mean, it's just, again, in my experience is exceeded my expectations, which were pretty high. So do your shopping investigate do your research maybe check and see what ultra mobility has to say but i would um, talk to owners and uh, at, again gnr grand national rally there's over a hundred vans and nobody that i talked to had any complaints about the functioning cabinetry of their travato hope that helps matt really appreciate the question all right so the last question for this q a friday comes from stephen 
S. Steven says, very interested in your air conditioner upgrade. I rented a Travato G last week and found the AC unit to be a bit loud, especially when lying in bed. Yes, it's a hurricane. Um, can't wait to hear about your upgrade experience. Well, Steven, today we talk about my upgrade experience because, ladies and gentlemen, I have got a brand new AC unit. This is a Coleman Mach uh, 10 NDQ. Let me tell you about this unit. So this is Eric Cell, is the company that makes Coleman Mach air conditioners. I did not know that Coleman was owned by uh, Eric Cell. They're manufactured by Eric Cell. They just bought the name, the brand. Uh, four cool things about this unit. Number one, it is way more efficient. Don't quote me on the exact percentages, but it's something like 20 to 30% more efficient than the old unit. Number two, quiet. It's like 115% more quiet. Wait till you hear this thing. Back here before, it was like a hurricane. Couldn't do any recording, couldn't do any sleeping, couldn't do much of anything because it was so noisy. This thing, wait till you hear it. Third thing, it has, wait for it, a Bluetooth module, which means, yes, yes, it has an app. Yes, yes, it has an app. I can run my AC from my phone or from my iPad anywhere in the cabin and even outside within Bluetooth range. And the fourth thing that is really great is it has auto off. So when the cabin is cooled to the desired temperature, the compressor turns off and the fan turns off. That was not possible before. It would turn the air compressor off, but the fan kept blowing at hurricane speed and noise, more importantly. This time, the whole system shuts down until it gets warmed up enough to engage the, the system again. All right, so let's do this. Let's do a little demonstration. Oh, one other thing that's really super cool. So while the baffling is somewhat the same, now you got these two little dube heads here. You see that? So you can spin these around, direct some energy, some more flow out front, more flow on your hot body, um, flow on the cabinets. Maybe you need to cool the, the whiskey. Um, uh, so that's kind of nice as well. And look at these. I'm going to roll the pictures. Um, let's do this first. Then I'm going to put in the pictures of them installing this. Um, Keith and the whole team there at Ericsson were just amazing. Um, let me show you this. I get super excited. Okay, so this is the uh, this is the app. So what I'm going to do is tap this. So I've already paired it with this unit, which is super simple. Um, so I'm going to make it go uh, 73 degrees. <clears throat> I'm going to dial this into fan. So you got fan only, cool, low, cool, high, which is always on fan and at compressor until it gets to the temperature. Cool, auto, low. What this is is when. Uh, the temperatures reach the fan and the compressor turn off. It's so awesome. So I'm going to do low first, and then I'm going to do high and let you guys um, hear the difference. Okay, you ready? So I'm going to press set. <laughs> is that crazy? That is so quiet. I can't believe it. Okay, so let's do it one more time. Let you guys hear that, right? And now we're going to do high, high, I'm going to press set, and that's on high. This is probably at least half the noise of before. I mean, it is unbelievably different, just crazy different. So what I'm gonna do is actually dial this up and see if we can get it to stop. So again, the importance here is this is cool, auto high, which means when it gets above 83 degrees in here, um, it will turn on and below that it turns off, which is so great. Um, I've been using this overnight. Uh, this last week I'm in um, Spokane, Washington. It's 99 degrees, literally, and about 75 at night. Uh, so super warm. Actually, it did cool down in the high 60s, but the rig was so warm. I used this the entire entire week. Um, can't tell you how pleased I am with this system. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll through some of the pictures um, so you guys can see them installing this, put some music, because uh, the installation process was really fascinating. Again, my thumb up to the Eric Sell guys and Keith, a big shout out to you. Keith is kind of cool. He's the dude here in the red shorts. Um, he came from the military. He was an HVAC technician in the military, cooling our troops in, 
in, um, in Iraq, I think it was. And he went to the GI Bill, became an engineer, and he actually helped build this thing. And because of his genius and the way they tweak the fan blades, that's where we get the quietness of this new Excel system. So let me show you these pictures, and then I got another thing to talk to you about on this unit, because I know you're going to want one. So here at the uh, Winnebago GNR Rally, um, Excel, Air Excel is swapping out air conditioners. Uh, several of my neighbors have done that and um, I was lucky enough to get a cancellation and so they are installing a new AC unit on top of Lily and um, it's about 700 bucks and um, maybe 20 minutes pretty magic watch this you know I want you close maybe hold your hand a little while somehow I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own we ride around in style Sleeves rolled up, glasses on And then you make that smile And my heart starts racing When I'm with you You When I'm with you Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, again, just a lovely experience. Um, so a couple of tidbits. I know you guys are going to have a bunch of questions on this. Send them in. Let's see if we can get them answered for you. But let me uh, give you some, some background or some, some, some product information here. So again, Eric Cell is the manufacturer. And I'm going to look at the back of my brochure. So this is actually my serial number on here. Maybe I'll cover that. So what the model is here is a Mach 10. And they... Uh, affectionately call it the NDQ, non-ducted quiet AC, and boy is that true. Here's the model number, um, 45253-8793, maybe I'll flash it on the screen for you. Um, now when I go to their website, there is uh, actually, this product does not exist on their website yet. My understanding is these things were literally brand new just off the lines. They had 50 of them to install that week at Grand National. So here's their website. Yep. Um, so I'm going to go to um, air conditioners, Coleman Mock. And if I go to um, air conditioners right here, what we're going to find is this model actually doesn't exist on their website yet. And my understanding is that these were literally brand new, just rolling off the uh, line. So see here, the models don't match with what I just told you about because they're still coming off the lines. You're probably wondering so, how to get one of these. Um, so what I would do is probably reach out to Eric Cell specifically um, and or your Winnebago dealer and start inquiring about how to get a replacement with the for the um, Mach 10 13.5 non-ducted NDQ non-ducted quiet is what NDQ stands for and get on the list um, how much did I pay $700 they basically installed it for free that day as they did all the the 50 some turbados they did um, I, get, I have the Bluetooth module so I can run the app that's a few more dollars uh, but I think the all-in was about 750 bucks um, it took about about an hour actually. It was really a team effort, um, as you saw in the in the video. So my advice is get this upgrade. My advice is get in touch with Eric Cell. Tell him Scott at Go Small sent you, and um, I have to uh, give full credit to my uh, Grand National Rally neighbor. That's Jim and Barbara. Jim and Barbara. My shirt's on. Because <laughs> um, they told me about their. A rig getting an upgrade and that caused me to put a whole series of things in motion to get an upgrade uh, the same day or very next day as, as they did so my advice do this upgrade you will not regret it um, if you have further questions reach out and let's get those answered but until then I hope you got something out of this video we talked about Winnebago quality showed you some of that we talked about the black tank uh, or the waste tank cap is there any leakage we gave credit to, um, uh, uh oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gave credit to Leanne 
for her uh, camera gear question and to Steven about the air conditioner. So if you enjoyed this, got something out of it, give it a thumb up. As always, please comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill on YouTube. The channel's you know, just, uh, just a, such, I got the best channel audience in the whole world. You guys are amazing. And gals. And I wish you to journey on. week thank you for joining us another Q&A Friday really love you guys and gals um, as you know I live and work full-time for my 2019 Winnebago Travado it's a 21 foot camper van I'm a digital nomad I have a full-time corporate job plus my full-time YouTube job uh, creating the um, content because I love to learn and then I love to share this with you that's what this is all about tons of stuff coming up appreciate your patience um, stay tuned till next week we'll see you later what the hell kind of a failure is this Good Lord. It's quiet, huh? Well, I think I need to go do something.